So comments and suggestions in Google Docs work similarly, but there are differences. If you're interested in suggestions, click the video in the card at the top of the screen. But if you want to see how comments work, then follow along here. If you're the one setting up the permissions, open your doc and click the share button at the top of the screen. Under get link, click change to anyone with the link. Now this next step is critical. In the drop down to the right, choose commenter. Now with this level of permissions, anybody you give the link to is going to see a very limited version of Google Docs. They're not going to have a bunch of the edit on the toolbar at the top of the screen, which is good for keeping the document intact. Now, if you're a person who wants to add your comments to a Google Doc, highlight the section that you want to comment on. Click this comment button to the right, add your notes, now click comment. Other people can now read and reply directly to your comment. A few notes about comments. You can edit a comment that you've left by choosing the menu option and selecting edit. You can also share a link that goes directly to this comment by choosing link to this comment. This is good if there are a lot of comments in a single document. You can also approve comments here by clicking the blue check mark. Now, if you do approve this comment, it gets stored in the chat archive, which is located at the top of the screen. And if you want to delete a comment, choose the menu option and click delete. Now, if you're interested in adding suggestions to Google Docs, watch this video here. Thanks for the click. I appreciate you being here at this Tech Talk. If you want to learn more Google Docs, consider subscribing to the channel. And if this video is helpful to you, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steve, and I'll see you on the next video.